grow room pitfalls, some of those problems that commonly occur uh, that we want to try and avoid. So we want to try and keep a clean and isolated garden. So I have my grow tent here. I don't want to put it over by the front door because you know more chance of bugs getting on it uh, from from that, that door there. Maybe I want to put it in a back room and keep that, that door closed all the time. I won't let my pets over there because they're carrying uh, pests, whether it be some powdery mildew spores from outside or some spider mites, thrips, anything could be on that, that pet that's been outside. Uh, you know, so we want to try and uh, isolate it from that. If I'm forcing air into my tent to try and keep it cool, I don't want to take air right directly from outside and force it into the tent. I'll force air from the, the surrounding environment in, in the, uh, around the tent or really filter well that air coming in so that I'm not bringing powdery mildew spores or spider mites or those sort of things. Um, as well, keeping a clean garden. If I've got a lot of leaf litter, because older leaves will die and fall off, if you're not cleaning those up and making sure they're, they're put in the, in the dustbin, they're going to be a perfect home for different bugs and different uh, mold spores to kind of live and reinfect the plants. Um, so we want to keep it clean and isolated. Watch for changes in outdoor weather. Uh, especially in our area, we can have huge swings from one season to the next, even one day to the next, uh, in terms of temperature and humidity. And it will affect our indoor uh, situation. So outside, it's, it's about as dry as it can get. Uh, maybe not today, but when it's really cold, there's no water in the air. And as air is brought into the home, the home gets really dry, and that can be stressful for the plants. Finding ways to try and raise your humidity uh, you know, before the plants show stress uh, because you're checking it can be a good thing. Same with, you know, the high humidity in the summertime. If you're not running an air conditioner and you've got really moist air inside, um, you know, you may want to run a dehumidifier in your grow room so that, you know, you're not having a ton of moisture on your plants. Moisture on your plants causes different molds to grow. Uh, powdery mildew is a common one. It looks like a little white spot of fuzz of, of powdery dust that grows on the leaves, especially uh, leaves inside the plant where there's, you know, the air maybe isn't mixed up as, as well. Um, and botrytis is another big problem. So that's bud rot. And it's really hard to detect if we've got a big bud here and there's a little bit of gray mold growing inside of it and killing the bud. You won't see that until the gray mold travels to the outside of the bud and killed the whole bud that you, that you see that. In that case with botrytis, I'd want to cut that whole bud off so it's not infecting everything else. I may even put a bag over it, tie it, and then cut it so, because shaking it can, can release more spores. Um, so just being careful and a little bit of uh, uh, problem solving ahead of time will, will uh, be better. <laughs>